life-changing. That's how one person described a proposed bill that would give some felons a second chance. That bill is being called the Clean Slate Bill, and our Shira Matsuzawa is here now to break it all down for us. Mark and Maggie, it's a bipartisan bill. The lawmakers behind it say 41 other states already have similar bills in place, but while it hasn't been introduced just yet, they say they anticipate it'll happen soon. A clean slate. It's not something most people with a criminal record get. But there's a bill in the works that would do just that. This bill would provide that for folks who have relatively minor criminal offenses, nonviolent, non-sexual, who have completed their time and gone a number of years without reoffending, they would be eligible to petition to clean their, clear their criminal record, or at least have it publicly sealed. Most of us have family members or good friends who have had these kind of experiences. And it's so important that we do all we can to help them be successful. Senator Dave Lent of Idaho Falls and House Minority Leader Elena Rubel of Boise are co-sponsoring the bipartisan bill. It's time that we really started looking at uh, the question is when is justice satisfied? And that's really the question that we think we're trying to adjust here. The idea here is to let people get their lives back on track so they can get jobs and get housing and move forward in a constructive way. There's some pretty compelling data that it reduces recidivism and that the folks who have gone through this process, who have really turned over a new leaf, not reoffended, gone through the process of petitioning for help, they have incredibly low recidivism rates. And in fact, their arrest rates are below that of the general population. Since we first reported this on the KTVB Facebook page Tuesday afternoon, We've received dozens of comments. Russ Barsby said, as a landlord, he should have the right to know a person's record. Samuel Bell wrote, he believes in second chances, but an employer should be armed with the truth. While Drew Perkins said, this would be, quote, amazing and life-changing. According to his Facebook post, he completed his sentence in 2011 and is still faced with negativity and denials. We're facing just a crushing um, cost load here in terms of our incarceration rates. We're the leading incarcerator in the West. Our criminal justice budget is just gobbling up everything in sight. And this is really a wonderful opportunity to address that and hopefully get some people out of the criminal justice system and making a living with no threat to public safety. So what's next for this bill? Senator Lent and Representative Rubel say they're still waiting for a little bit more feedback before they can introduce this bill to committee. Once that's done, they'll take it to public testimony where they will encourage folks to share their stories. Now there's no date yet for when they will introduce this bill, but they say they think it'll be soon. Yeah, and it's pretty rare out of the state house this early in the session to have a bill that is garnering this much nonpartisan, bipartisan support. Right. So we'll continue to follow that. Thank you, Shira, for that.